Okay, we're just uh, kind of building on some of the concepts of molarity and molar concentration. And I've kind of set up a problem here. Um, and first of all, just note the uh, balanced equation up here. Um, I've, got, uh, I've got some elemental zinc and I'm going to add some hydrochloric acid to it. And we're going to come away with um, zinc chloride and a little bit of hydrogen gas. Okay. And I'm going to do that with a certain concentration of acid here, okay? Um, 0 0.470 molar HCl, and I'm going to have, and I want to basically, here's, here's what I want to end up with. Okay, I want to end up with this, uh, you know, 100 or, or 1.5 five grams of zinc chloride. So first of all, what I'm going to have to do, the strategy for doing this is I'm basically going to, I'm going to convert um, this uh, mass of zinc chloride into moles. And then I'm just going to use my uh, stoichiometric uh, ratio here uh, of zinc chloride to hydrochloric acid to find out what volume of the acid I need, okay? And we call this solution stoichiometry. Um, you know, we've done some other stuff. Um, I'm gonna put some videos out, you know, of some other types of stoichiometry pretty quick. So if you, if you get there, uh, just let me know. But, um, but that's basically the strategy when we wanna go, okay? We're gonna take this, we're gonna go from uh, grams to moles. And then we're gonna go you know, uh, one one mole of uh, zinc chloride to two moles of hydrochloric acid. So let's go ahead and uh, zinc chloride times one mole. How much does that weigh? I be nice if I had done this beforehand. I got 136.29. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, just punch that in the calculator. And that is, I got. That's what I got. Um, looks like I had three significant figures here. Yes, yeah, so I, I guess I don't really need that that zero there. So let's go ahead and say we get zero, one, one mole of zinc chloride. Okay. All right. So that's that's how how much we got there. Okay. Now I'm kind of getting in the way of myself here. Uh, we, these combine in a one to two ratio. So I've got two mole of HCl per every one mole of zinc chloride. And see how I've got moles of zinc chloride um, down there? Um, well, they're going to go ahead and cancel out. And that's going to leave me with... moles of HCl. So that, that's uh, what I got there. Now if we go back it looks like what I have is I have here's my concentration. Here's how much I have. Okay, so remember, all this is is 0 0.40 moles of hydrochloric acid per one liter. Okay, um, so it looks like we have a um, a conversion factor right here. So. Um, and actually, we're going to flip it over. So watch this. 0 0.22 moles of HCl multiplied by, let's see here, what's one liter worth? 
in this case. One liter is worth .470 moles of hydrochloric acid, you see? Now notice how basically it kind of looks like I just took this thing and flipped it over, right? Okay, well, you know, I, I can go ahead and do that because I want to end up with liters in the end, don't I? Okay, remember I was looking for a volume, okay? So let's do, uh, let's go ahead and solve that. And this just becomes a, a division problem. And a division problem with three significant figures, it looks like. Oops. Okay, and that's what I ended up with. Um, moles of HCl cancel out. I'm left with liters of HCl. And I got that. So, let's see here. This will be... And that's going to be equal to 46.8 milliliters of HCl. That's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to use for this, okay? So, let's kind of backtrack here. Okay? We started with zinc. Um, didn't really quite know what to do. We were looking for a volume, so we said, "Okay, let's uh, just take uh, zinc chloride. We'll convert it to moles." Um, I have a stoichiometric um, ratio right here that I could use to end up with moles of hydrochloric acid okay and that's what we did here and once I found out um, my amount of hydrochloric acid my molar amount we just uh, converted it from moles to uh, volume uh, using the uh, molarity um, of the acid so um, that's kind of an example of solution stoichiometry so uh, let, let me know if you need anything else on it okay thanks